I'm Nox Umans, and uh, I've had a few people asking me how I uh, set up Obsidian, and so I'm going to show you that. Um, I start off, I Google, which is Google Obsidian. Click on the first link, which takes us here. We download the app image. You see that I already have a copy of it, or I did. Uh, let's see, CD downloads. Yes, yeah, so I moved it into Opt, Opt Obsidian, and then Obsidian. You can see the app image here. Now you could just run this by doing, um, I mean, really just Obsidian, Obsidian, and it would run. So you could do it that way. Um, I imagine what most of you want to see is how I have it um, sitting up in the top up here. So we're going to go to Panel, Preferences, Items. We're going to add. Launcher, scroll on down, and then we'll edit it. Can't see Obsidian. Um, we should be able to set it on our own. Run program, there we go. So add run program in here and set this. And we'll set it to opt obsidian obsidian dot app image. Um obsidian. And then I do want to change the icon. I don't think that I have one on here. For obsidian already, so let's see if we can get an obsidian image. Uh, the new obsidian icon. I want to say, yeah, we can download them. Um, whatever version we like, we can change the colors, I believe. Yeah, so we can change it however we like, um, but would like it to be. I'm going to leave it this purple color, just fine with me. Um, all right, so you can, I think you choose also like different options. Let's see. Wow. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Um, you just edit it. Anyway, uh, we'll download. I don't know if it's the ICO file, PNG. I don't know. I'll download all of them and then we'll see which one works. <laughs> So let's go to image files. Um, right now they're in desktops. We can put them wherever the hell we want to put them. Let's use the smallest file, this SVG. And as you can see, it's down here at the very, very bottom. Um, so we should be able to just move it up to the top wherever we would like it to be. And then now we can open it. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. So it opened up and let's go ahead and create a new vault. Browse, we'll just call the documents our vault. Great. So from here, uh, the things that I set up are in the settings, where are they? Setting so I'm going to enable community plugins. We'll turn on and reload. And where are our plugins? We want minimal theme settings. We'll install that. And go into appearances and install minimal here. There it is. Install and use. Excellent. Uh, now we should be able to enable minimal theme settings and then edit it. 
um, to our liking. So I want some colorful window frames, colorful active state. We can set um, with here. Let's see. It'd be nice to be able to actually like see our mode contrast. Colorful headings. Text font size, small height, line height, uh, max line width. Ninety. And let's kind of move some of this out of the way. Test, 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 and yeah, there we go. Okay. So we've got all of that. We can take well, all that's fine. Um, Let's do some editing. Somewhere in here, we can change this uh, blue color. I just need to find it. There it is. Okay, cool. So I like to set mine up uh, like colors based on whatever I'm doing. Um, so I have different colors for like um, different vaults, like try hack me, proving grounds, hack the box. Um, these have their own color. That way, you know, I don't get too confused. Um, 16 is a fine size for me. It might not be for you guys. And community plugins again. So you can come through and um, edit these. 100% uh, pain with, um, but this will let you, let's see, let's do 95, 80, normal line with default characters, number of characters per line with wide elements. Let's see what happens. There once was a hacker named Frank, he lived in a box and was a super duper cool. Then he fell off and everyone laughed. That's the end of the story. Cool. Um, on top of this, I don't know, how do I install Flameshot? Do I install it through here? Just wanna be able to like insert an image and see what that looks like in there. So we'll let this go through. Excellent. What we'll do is we'll take a screenshot of this, and just paste it down here and see what it looks like. And now we can kind of edit our width. Let's see, max line width. Yeah, so max line width is 95%. Let's kind of move that down a little bit. Um, with by line, and I might actually like with by line a little bit more. I do feel like that looks a little bit better. There's our welcome page. There's our images. There are our images. Here's our text. And then we'll just do some stuff here.
Cool. Obviously, you don't need to import OS in order to print working on it, but that doesn't, that's not what I'm trying to point, uh, trying to show. So, uh, really, you can see that my setup is, is pretty minimal. Um, if you go back and you do all these things, you'll be perfectly fine. Um, what we have here? Oh, it's just a launcher. Okay. Let's close that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that is how I set up Obsidian. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Leave them in the comment section down below. And uh, I'll do my best to answer them. But I really don't use that many functions. This is pretty much it. So, see ya.